Afghanistan is an important Muslim country of Central Asia, having an area of approximately 270,000. It is high land, comprising an irregular plateau at average height of 40,000 feet traversed from northeast to southwest by the Hindu, Hindu Kush. Another range, the Suleiman, comprises its eastern boundary. Both of these ranges are narrow passes which have been used from time immemorial both by the traveler and invaders and are still the line of communication and transportation. Afghanistan is a country of contrast. More than half of its lofty mountains, some of them snow-capped for the greater part of the year. The valley is surrounded by hills which are mostly beautiful and green, while on the other hand, the desert are desolate where the very point is often suffocating. Afghan season, no moderation winter are cold and wet, while summer are hot, dry, and dusty. The Afghan geographical environment, too, has had a deep and lasting effect on custom, character, and even on his way of thinking. The mountainous nature of the country and the difficult terrain resulting in dividing the people into clans, tribes, leading most part an isolated life and preserving its peculiar culture and custom. The principal races and tribes in this diverse population are the Afghan, more properly called the Pashtun or Pakhtun, are derived from Indo-European stock and make the great majority, next in number, are the Tajiks, Hazaras, and Uzbek. Pashto and Persian are the large number of dialects. From the earliest recorded time, Afghanistan has been the meeting ground of various races and difficult cultures. From the earliest recorded time, Afghanistan has been the meeting ground of various races and different cultures. As it stood on the highway connecting east and west, it was Aryan for the first time took to settle life here and build cities. There are no authentic records of the Aborigines who lived in Afghan before the advent of the Aryans. Later on, in the 4th century BC, Afghanistan became a part of the Macedonian Empire between 330 and 327 BC. Alexander the Great conquered the country and was able to pass through it on his way to India. It was about the middle of the 3rd century BC during the rule of Ashoka the Great that Buddhism gradually found its way into the country. From the 2nd century BC onward, the country became a bone of contention between the different races and tribes. In this 7th and 8th century, Afghanistan came into touch with Islamic culture. The religion of Islam gradually made its way throughout Afghanistan and Islamic culture has remained the dominant feature of Afghan life. Afghanistan received a severe setback in the early 19th century when the ruthless leadership of Genghis Khan poured into country, leaving death and destruction in their wake. Millions and millions of people were mercilessly butchered. Consequently, poverty, ignorance, disease, and superstition crept into society. The 16th and early 17th century are perhaps the darkest period of Afghan 
history. The beginning of 17th century saw a glimpse of light through an establishment of small national government of Gondar. But instead of consolidating their position within the country, they plunged into the heart of Iran and occupied it. And they shifted their capital from Kandar to occupied country and they couldn't maintain their position in a foreign land for more than uh, 8 or 10 years from 1720 to 30. Afghan settlers in Iran were killed and result their own motherland was involved in chaos and disorder until the middle of the 17th century when national uprising took place and Ahmad Khan of Abdali tribe was elected king of Kandar in 1747. Soon after the death of this great king, the Durrani Empire began to crumble. From the beginning of 18th century, the wars with Sikhs and Persians and the British invasion of First and Second Afghan War, the country once more eclipsed into civil war. The beginning of 20th century saw a new Afghanistan with a new way of life coming into being. After a successful war in 1919, the country found herself free from foreign pressure and was able to lay the foundation of strong Afghanistan under the Amir of Amanullah Khan until to the end of invasion of Russian army when entered in 1979.